All right, guys. Hey, random nomad again coming at you. Let's let's try this again. Maybe make a better video, but I think we're gonna make a new series here and start it again and come back with you. I love SLQs. I love my 90% silver, junk silver, whatever you want to call it. But I love quarters, and these are uh, my pickups. And I think we're gonna do an SLQ video series here, but just thought I'd show you guys these. Ignore the short, it might load up, it might not, and I don't care, but this is a better explanation video and I can title it better and all that. But I'm back, guys. May not be selling, but I'm still collecting and starting over. But uh, let's go through them and show you what I got. So, pardon the camera. This is all raw. But we got a 1925 Philly SLQ, Standing Liberty Quarter, whatever, same deal, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got a 27 here. Um, ignore the prices. That's just what dealers write on there where I got them. But that's 27. That's 25. Uh, this might be a long video and be raw, but hey, whatever. I'm going to put it out there. But that 25 came from uh, Golden Cash. He never sent me a sticker, so I can't promote him, but I'll still promote him anyways. Or at least I can't show his uh, sticker, but he's pretty much on there every day doing coin hunts and auctions. Him in Oregon, but yeah, that 25 Philly SLK came from him. We got a 27 Philly. Um, fine condition, yeah, that's probably about that. I'd say that's maybe a VG, honestly. And that 27, probably my camera won't do justice. But that's probably close to an XF. It's a little dark. But yeah, I think that's VG fine. So that's probably graded about right. And then we got a 28S. That uh, my camera is not going to show. But yeah, that came from Golden Cash as well. And that's probably about a VG. Maybe a good. Um, my camera can't do it justice. And grading is subjective, but whatever. And then we got a 29 here, 29 Philly. Apologize for the camera and the shaky camera on this. But yeah, that's about a straight up XF. Maybe a very fine. I'll learn more as we go through it and be able to detail better and tell you. But we got a 29S here. And now that is uh, basically almost a stunner. Gloss white maybe with some toning on that. But yeah, that I could say is definitely a high XF. Maybe an AU, somewhere in there. Y'all can tell me better, but my camera can only show much and show you so much. But that's 29S. And then we got a 1930, which is still a very beautiful coin, just a little darker. So it's a little harder to tell when they get dark, but still, they tone, they age, they're silver, dude. 1930 is 90-some plus years ago, man. Come on now, but... Anyway, still beautiful coin. Still love my SLQs. And then we got a 1930S, which is probably, like I said, about the XF BG. But you know what? That might actually hit XF. But as I grow and learn with this, and we're going to stick with the Standing Liberty Quarter series, and I'll add and continue with it. And I'm back, guys. May not be selling, but I'm back, and I'll make random videos as I am the random stacker. The raw, uncut, straight to YouTube randomness of coin videos, guys. Let me scroll through them again. One more time here. And my camera sucks. There we go. We got the 25. See if I can get you guys to see the dates. But that's 27. That's also 27. Better date just because that one's a darker coin. And then we got the 28S. A little worn date's still there but my camera sucks and then we got the 29 you can see it clear as day we got the 29 s but my camera sucks to get you on there but that is a 29 s there is an s mint mark on there and then we got the 30 and the 30 s guys thank you hopefully you all watch this video like comment subscribe as i say peace positive vibrations later days thanks guys